So these are instructions to assemble my 3D slot machine. Aside from the usual materials that I use, there's a few more extra materials for this one. The first one is uh, craft foam. I used craft foam for spacers in my project. I used a coat hanger. It was cut down and bent by my husband, bent uh, to the dimensions that I needed. So this is five inches in height, one inch in width, and approximately a little bit longer than one inch. This isn't very important. It doesn't need to be exact. So the next is a wooden dowel and you want to cut your wooden dowel at five and three quarter inch and a wooden stick. This is one of those coffee stirrer sticks. And this one again is at five and three quarter inches in length. I also used some brads. I wanted a relatively small head on my brad and I wanted a long stem. I wanted to, this little piece of metal to reinforce, so it's like an eyelet to reinforce where there would be the most friction on my box. So I'm just going to take my crocodile and with the uh, 3 16 inch hole, I'm just going to try to center it as best I can. This is obviously an afterthought or else I would have just gotten my Cricut to put the 3 16 inch hole in. and. So I'm going to take my eyelid and just so it creates a little metal reinforcement because you've got metal against metal now. So those are just the preliminary things. I've glued my spacers together and I'm waiting for the glue to dry. So my gears for the project are made out of chipboard. So I've just taken a paintbrush and just applied art glitter glue all over the extremities of this gear because on the prototype that I was playing with um, the gears started fraying and eventually they would wear down to the point where they don't work anymore. Another unusual thing that I used for this project was um, these styrofoam balls. What I did is it's just this is just dollar store paint red so I just painted the exterior of my styrofoam ball and it's going to uh, adorn the end of the handle. So the pull handle on my slot machine. And then of course there's the acetate. I used acetate for the window to the slot machine but I also used pieces of acetate to reinforce some of the pieces that are going to have to put up with most motion. These are the print then cut that are in the file. This is for the slot machine reels. I cut out the triple diamond separately out of vinyl and applied it to my print and cut. I put a layer of contact. I kind of made a, a boo boo. So in order to, <laughs> in order to cover it up, I put um, a layer of clear contact paper on top for both of them. Now, basically you have two sets of pieces for the box. You have the shell of the box and then you have pieces that are clad on the top of the box. I made both of them out of craft board. So just make sure that you've separated your pieces properly. The pieces that go on the external part of the slot machine are just a tiny bit smaller than the actual shell of it. So now we're going to put together the base of the slot machine. I'm just folding down on the score lines. These are the larger of the two sets of side pieces and they have drawings on the interior. Now this is the part that it faces upwards when you're cutting, but when you're assembling it, it actually goes on the inside. I also use the Cricut, I think they're called Milky Pens. They're phenomenal and they show up really nicely on this dark material. So I'm putting my backing pieces on the two sides and the back. One of these pieces has a little hole. It matches up with this piece. This is the exterior of your slot machine and this one is just plain and it goes on the outside. So you have the tab and then you have the external piece which is just a tiny bit smaller. And then you have your back piece. So I'm just going to glue those three panels down onto their bases and then we'll continue. So next we're going to work on the reels. 
I'm using a wooden dowel and it's approximately a quarter of an inch. So I've made all my holes to fit this wooden dowel. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to mark my dowel with the template that's in the file. So I'm centering this more or less over my dowel and I'm just putting tick marks just at the edge of those little cutout pieces, those windows. And next, I'm going to take these rectangles. I'm just going to cover it in glue and wrap it around my wooden dowel, making sure that it's positioned where those little tick marks are. And they meet pretty much at the top. So I just take this piece and fold down on the score line. There's a score line at the end. We're not going to fold the score line at the end. You see these long strips with groupings of three score lines at both ends. So you want to fold down on the first one, up on the second one, and down on the third. And just put a little bit of glue in the little valley that that creates. Like so. You do the same thing here. This lays flat with two sections that stick up like so. Once you've glued those two sections, you want to adhere them to your little piece that has all the little teeth to it. And then there's the end with the tab, but you want it to go flush with the end without the tab, and then more or less down the middle. So next you're going to put glue on the tab, and then you want to stick the cut edge against the score line. You want to position your circle flat on the mat so that all the teeth from the bottom are all pointing inwards. You're going to put glue just on the perimeter of this circle, and then you're going to slide it in being careful to avoid those two little tabs sticking out. Push down and make sure that you've spread the glue nicely. Take your dowel and then take another one of your circles. Put glue on the perimeter. And next, you're going to take one of your circles, thread it through the dowel, then another one of your rectangles all over it, position it where your tick marks are, and fold it over like so. And then you're going to make up another one of your circles, doing the exact same thing. So next I'm just going to flatten those teeth so that they're flush with the edge. This is just the circle that I put before I put this piece on. I'm going to put glue on the perimeter. I'm going to thread my dowel. And then I'm just going to press it against the other one just to glue it down. So we have two of them, and for the third one it's pretty much the same thing. You're just going to thread that circle through, fold up on your little teeth,
Okay, so this is my reinforced circle from before and I've glued it to the panel using some small strips of foam tape. I've just wrapped a bit of black vinyl along my handle. So on the right hand side we have all our little gears. There is an amazing amount of pieces. So a lot of them are just reinforcement pieces. Now let's start with the gears on this side. I cut out these pieces from scrap foil acetate. First it'll reinforce the pieces and second it makes these slide a little more easily. So I'm just going to glue those pieces of acetate to the centers of my little gears. I cut out two strips that are identical and these are going to be glued together one on top of the other just to make them a little bit stronger. So I'm taking my one inch circle, gluing it on top of the upper circle, making sure that it's exactly on top of the hole that's punched out. And then for the second hole, we're going to do the same thing. And then the third one, I'm just going to put glue on my piece. So the next step is to put foam tape on the backing so that it's elevated against the side of my slot machine. Okay, so I've put double-sided foam tape on the back. I have some brads, and I'm just going to poke them through the center of my chipboard and then the holes open up the brads, but don't I don't want to lay them completely flat. I want to give them a little bit of room to spin. So the second one you want to insert it so that it's in between the two teeth of the upper one. And again, you're going to take your brad, put it through all those layers, and open the brad up. Test it there, make sure that it spins smoothly. And the third one is going to go on the bottom, and again, with its teeth in between the teeth of the one just above it, but the handle is going to go through there, so we can work on our pieces on the opposite side. We have two pieces of craft board. These measure an inch and a half in diameter. Glue them together. I'm going to put craft foam on the back of this as well. I have a piece of craft board that's an inch and a half with a small hole in the center. And I have a piece of acetate as well, same size. I'm just going to glue my acetate. And again, this is just a reinforcement piece. And then I'm going to take another brad, put it through the center of the two, and fold it over. It turns nicely. I've taken the backing off my foam tape and I'm just putting it where my guidelines are. Then I'm going to take some hot glue and just... And for the bottom piece, you guessed it, we're going to do the same thing. So you can remove the backing from your foam tape on this and stick it to the side, making sure that that hole is exactly on top of where it should be. And the drawings on that panel should help guide you. So we're just going to put the mechanism aside for a moment and we're going to glue these pieces together. The back piece is going to give us the exact width so we know exactly that the, the sticks are the right length for our mechanisms. So I'm just putting glue on the tabs on each side. You want them to meet exactly at the top and the bottom. And then just fold that back. And do that on the other side as well. Glue on the tab. So next I'm going to work on the handle. So I have six pieces of craft foam and I've got one in reserve plus one extra circle. So that part that goes past the jog, I'm just putting it through my hole and then I'm placing my wheel down, making sure that it's threaded properly on the upper wheel. So you want the, te the teeth to go in between the teeth of the upper wheel. Then it's nice and flat against that support piece. 
And then you just want to push it through so that your handle is parallel to the side of your slot machine. You're going to take a set of half circles. So apply glue to one half of that circle with that metal piece hanging downwards straight. So you want it to be exactly perpendicular with the bottom of your slot machine. And you're going to position. So this puts your handle in the upright position on the outside. And you're gonna do that with the other side as well. And what that does is it isolates that metal piece. Then I'm gonna put a piece on top that will just sandwich everything together. I'm just gluing that piece on top. Okay, so what I've done is I've added a lot of craft foam in between my handle and the side because if this comes out and then it won't engage the gears here. So when it turns, if this is too high, it won't make these gears turn. So what you have to do is make sure that this is nice and tight. The gear works beautifully. Okay, so now I have it standing up so that it's on the six inch mark. Because of my mechanism, I've built up on each side where my reel is to go. And I wanna make sure that it fits nicely. So the next part is to attach the reel and the coin basket to. So the next part, we're going to attach the reel and the coin basket holder to the sides of my slot machine. So we have these two pieces. One of them is chipboard and the other one is craft board with our markings at the top and the bottom. I'm just going to glue them together. And I have guidelines that are on my panel that will tell me exactly how to position it so that it's at the bottom and I want to leave it in that position. And then on the other side, I have to be careful because I've got the handle on this side. I don't want to do anything that would damage it. And I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the back. Let's put my handle a little bit backwards. I think I get a little bit more traction if I angle it a little bit backwards. And this piece is secured and it's more or less centered on the outline that I've drawn. I'm just going to... So what happens next is I'm going to take my coffee stirrer and I'm going to oh so carefully and then we're going to insert our little coffee stick into that Cool. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for that glue to dry before going any further on this piece. In the meantime, I'm going to take my roof pieces. There's two pieces. One of them's slightly smaller than the other, just an inset, and has a little jog at the top. So we're going to glue those together. And your jog matches the jog that you have on the top of these tabs. So you just want to put glue on the tabs. Position your roof piece and press those tabs down. And next, I'm just going to bring my sides together and insert my coffee stirring stick into the little tab that's at the bottom. So I'm just measuring my reel right now. What I've done is done a dry fitting here just to see that it fits. Now you, because of all the building up on both sides there's a little bit of play there and you want to make sure that it's not too narrow for the opening but also that it's not making your box bow and I think it seems to be okay. So these two one inch circles are being glued together. I'm going to put glue in this circle and just position it onto my wooden dowel so that the end of my dowel is flush against here. And then I'm going to take my piece of chipboard that's the same size, so this one's an inch and a half. I'll use my hot glue gun to put some glue in the center and then 
insert my wooden dowel and slightly burn myself, but hey, it's for a good cause. I'm going to take my print and cut images. I'm just going to glue them onto my reels. So I've put some hot glue to my chipboard and I'm just gluing my reel in. So next we're going to work on the three separate boxes that are geared towards um, the coin distribution. So you have the first box is for when you put your coin into play. The second box is for the, it's like a little chute for, to replenish your machine when you've used up all the coins. And the third one is to collect all the coins and then when you win, it tosses all the coins to the bottom. So let's start with the longest one, the chute. So what I've done, as opposed to regular boxes where you want the outside to be pretty, this one, I've put all the seams on the outside so there's less things for the coins to get caught on as they're heading down the chute. So I'm just going to put glue on this tab and then glue on this tab. So then you just want to put a bit of glue on this tab. And again, we're doing it on the exterior as opposed to the way you normally put all the pretty on the outside. In this case, all the pretty is the smooth edges on the inside like that. And then these score lines, you want to fold outwardly like this. So there's these two pieces that again, we're going to put on the outside. They're just to trim off the outside of the box. So the second one is for when you insert your coin to play. So you just want to fold, score, fold on all the score lines. So this one is sort of like, it looks like a shirt. And you kind of basically want to fold the bottom of the shirt inward and the sleeves inward and the two tabs inward and these tabs get folded outward like so. And the second part that goes with it, it's just a rectangle and you want to fold it, these score lines inwards, that score line backwards and that score line backwards. And again, we're going to put the tabs on the exterior. Just put glue on both these tabs and then fold them up along the side of your little box, like so. I didn't put a score line there because I didn't want it to be sharp. I don't want anything getting caught in creases. You want to put a little bit of glue, these little triangular tabs, just a little bit of glue on those, and those, so you just want to glue down between the two score lines. So these go outwards, and then you want to just put glue on these two last tabs and fold them downwards onto the box like so. And our last box, so our last box, you can see you have these long strips and these are just to keep the sides of this box in place. I didn't want to do tabs because there's some extremely small tabs here and it just made it very difficult to put together. So I'm going to put we're going to put glue along the short side and the long side. Okay. So then on the short side, you're just going to 
match the piece that fits and alongside and do the same and then we're going to glue this down to the base just to make it a little bit stronger so then we have our three boxes our coin chute we're going to put along this wall so the back wall of our slot machine so this part goes on the top of the box so what we're going to do is we're going to put glue just on the tabs and then we're going to put glue on the back of it too we're going to sneak it in behind our reel and let's see if i can position this so that it's straight and then I'm going to put glue on both tabs at the side to the top of my slot machine. And then I'm going to bring it all in. I'm pushing down on the tabs on the interior, but at the same time I'm using my bone folder to make sure that it's positioned properly. So next I have this rectangular piece with a little slot through it. That's where the coin slot is going to go. Put a little bit of glue on each tab on each side, like so. Insert it so that it's nicely centered in that little jog out from the front. We're gonna take our little, the little mechanism we made, it's a little chute for the coin, and I'm just going to put glue on those tabs, and then adhere it that strip but that's where I put my little coin okay so I'm just testing my coins making sure that they do fall exactly where I want them to and they do my tray has to be towards the front but enough further far enough away from my mechanism that it doesn't get caught but you want it close enough so that it catches the coins. You also want to make sure that it's far enough in the front because if it isn't, when you pull this upwards, it's going to interfere with this mechanism. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have a reinforcement piece. So I'm putting this on my stick. I'm just gluing it far enough away from the mechanism. And I'm going to, at the same time, put some glue on my stick. I'm just putting some foam tape on either side of that stick. It's raised just enough that the glue doesn't want to take. Okay, so I've got my foam tape on either side of my coffee stirring stick. We'll release the backing on the foam tape slightly away from the mechanism and as far to the front as I can. Coins at the top and payment coins and then we turn our wheel yay we've won <laughs> so now we're going to put the little trap door on the top of our slot machine so these are the pieces I'm putting together for the little opening on the top of my slot machine so I have two C-shaped pieces that I've glued together and on top of them I've glued two other layers on just the top and the bottom part. And I have a brad that I'm going to put in as a little knob. So I have these little tiny magnets. I've put double-sided tape on one side of each magnet. So I flip it to the wrong side, to the back, and I'm just going to Glue down my hinge piece to the back. So this is the, the one that has the score line. As much as possible, center it and flush with the edge. Then you want to take that C-shaped piece from earlier, glue it on top of that opening. My hinge piece just goes there. So make sure it's where you want it to be and then open it up and Press that firmly down. Take the backing off the double-sided tape from your magnets. Place your magnet so they're still together. 
One of them has stuck down. And the other one, a little trap door for your coins. So now I'm gonna start decorating the front of my slot machine. So I've got all my little buttons. So it's a black layer, a silver layer, and then a white layer. I put my little buttons together. I've also cut an extra piece to front my coin. So this is to decorate the coin slot. So this is where you would put your coin like this. And it goes on this base. You don't want them up together because then you wouldn't be able to insert your coin. So I put these little spacers. Now I laboriously glued all these separate layers together. What you could do is just get a little strip of craft foam and glue that in between. It would definitely save you some time and effort. I'm just going to glue all of this together. Okay, so I've glued this little piece together and I'm going to adhere it exactly on top of the little opening, this little slot, and I'm going to glue these down on my bar like this. So I'm just going to let this dry for a bit and I'm going to work on the base. So I'm just going to flip this piece upside down and glue. So this piece is just a tiny bit smaller than the dimension between the score line. Flip it around and I want to line the interior with this beautiful silver. This is um, Cricut True Brush paper. The bottom of my slot mach machine, three sides just fit in like so. I'm just gonna put glue on the three slide sides. I'm just gonna stand it up and Make sure those pieces are glued properly in place. So now I have the tree piece. I'm just going to put glue on the bottom on the side. Well, I'm calling them that because that's where they're going to end up. Very carefully slide it in. And then use my bone folder to make sure that it adheres to the back of my slot machine and the bottom as well. I'm going to put glue on these tabs, temporarily take this piece out of the way, and then press these tabs into place. I'm just going to Put glue on that silver piece, like so, and then press that down into place. So while that's drying, I'm going to work on decorating the front, finally. The first thing I'm going to put is the window, and I'm just going to cover it up with that piece. This piece goes on top, this piece goes down here, the jackpot piece goes up here. The triple diamond logo goes down there. And then we're going to put this on top to make sure that this hole is not covered up by the piece at all. I'm going to put glue these down. I'm going to glue this so that it's directly above that hole. And then put our little warning for the price you're going to pay to play. So I'm going to stick all of that down and then we have to stick the front to our slot machine. So I've kind of lost my nerve as I was putting it together and I was thinking, hmm, what if something goes wrong? There's no way really to get in there and fix it because it's all sealed up. So I've come to the conclusion that the only way I can, <laughs> I can live with how much effort I've put into this project and still have it look nice is I'm going to adhere this top section up here and the bottom section and the middle section where the coin is and the bottom section I'm actually you still have access I'm actually going to 
So I'm going to seal it with either Velcro or magnets on each side. So you have to just undo it and you can still look inside and fix whatever needs to be fixed. Hopefully nothing will need fixing, but I've put too much effort into this not to have some kind of recourse if something goes wrong. So I'm just putting glue on this tab. This is at the top. I'm centering it. I'm just going to put glue on the tabs on each side. This panel as well. So I'm pressing the sides, making sure that this is as far back as it needs to go so that that folds down nicely. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the little wings on each side. And there it is. I didn't like the look of the craft foam, the edges of the craft foam, so I put a little piece of coordinating cardstock around it, just loosely, well not too loosely, just to camouflage it a little bit.